Welcome to our Winter Poetry Night. I am so glad that you're here, and I'd like to, um, first of all, thank you for joining us, and a huge shout out to fourth and fifth grade students for submitting their poetry work to be displayed tonight. Um, poetry is a great way to express yourself and to be creative. So, um, you know, I would encourage poetry for, for fun, um, for leisure, um, and I hope you have fun tonight. So thank you to all the staff members who participated in this. Um, thank you to Ms. Hadamio for putting all of our video clips together. I hope you have a great time. Um, if you check online, there is a Google form for you to complete. We'll be giving out 40 poetry books to um, students. So if you'll complete that during this um, poetry night, we'd really appreciate that and I will be in contact to get the books to you. So this afternoon, you'll hear some poetry readings from student work, and also um, you'll see some staff members read different poetry. Um, so let's have some fun with poetry. So first I'd like to introduce haiku poetry. So haiku is um, three lines, and it's typically with syllables of five, seven, then five. And a syllable would be like when you clap out a word. So like for instance, winter, winter, that's two syllables. Um, if we clapped out poetry, we would say po a tree. that's three syllables. Um, so that's a little bit about haiku. Um, Haiku started as a Japanese form of poetry, and it's usually about nature. It contains emotion, and um, I'm going to show you some winter, um, some haiku poetry. Some is about winter, but not necessarily, um, but here we go. Haiku. Winter bliss, glistening on snow, Sunshine shows her lovely face, frigid winter bliss. This is something that I wrote. A world of dew, a world of dew, and within every dew drop, a world of struggle by Kobashi Isa. Water slaps the shore against the white crystal sand under a hot sun. This is by Greta Barclay Lipson. Well, I hope you enjoy our night. We have a lot of fun activities for you. Have a great